for mature audiences. Oh, what a day! And welcome to the cave, uh, ladies wow. and gentlemen. Thank you once again for catching us on the cave. Yes. Hello, uh, we're gonna Hola. we're like a disease. Yeah, we are definitely. Mm. Yes. Um, so today we have actually a really interesting topic. So mm -hmm. Stephen, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about wellness and stress and how to get rid of it. Oh, well, boy. how to get rid of wellness? Yeah. No stress. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so um, the Don't word the of the day today is diffident, which is an, is an adjective. Stephen, do you know what that is? Right? Diffident is, uh, is basically adjective. to be shy or to be modest. Modest. Okay. okay. Diffident. Yeah. Diffident. Yes. Really? Something that yeah. everyone never is. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I am shy though. Diffident. I am shy. Yeah. All right. We'll talk about stress. I have an extra extra here. Um, mm -hmm. I found quite funny. Right. There's a guy called Luke Harding um, from okay. the great city of Manchester. Mm -hmm. um, he got. You know how they, the drinking culture is in in, in London and yeah. in the UK. You start drinking around 4 p.m. when the pubs open because they have um they all have a, a curfew of mm -hmm. uh, 2 a.m. Basically, you can't go further than that. Oh, so they all get the drinking. They all things. get hard pissed by like mm -hmm. five. 6 p.m. Uh, so this guy was absolutely off his head drunk. Um, goes on, basically takes a cab home. On his way home from the cab, gets one of those internet pop-up things on your phones that says cheap flights to Paris. He's absolutely <laughs> messed. He buys the ticket on his iPhone, um, tells the cabbie to go straight to the Manchester airport, then takes a flight to France, okay. arrives in Paris, and does not remember anything. He wakes up the next day um, in the Charles de Gaulle airport, mm -hmm. in a cubicle, in the, Sh in the toilet. Yeah, I like it when he says that. Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle. Yeah. Yeah. And Ch so basically, he wakes up there and freaks out because he doesn't remember how he went through customs. He doesn't remember anything. If he even had his passport on him or anything like that. And so talking about oh. stress levels, that means absolutely fucked up. That happened just like a week ago. Wow. wow. Cool. Yeah, that actually happened That's to my friend in Amsterdam. <laughs> well, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. It just sounds like a regular yeah. night yeah. in Republic. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. most of us. Yeah. No, but actually... Then I'm in a different country. Well, what's funny, but you mentioned that regarding uh, lax in airport. I know this is another topic, a lax in airport security, because there was a little boy a couple weeks ago that I heard, eight years old, wound up in Denver, Colorado or something by himself. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know how he made it through security, airport security and, and won't have, but... Have you been kidnapping yeah. little boys again yeah. and bringing them across state lines? I was about to ask no, you that, no, Mark Nelson. Yeah, actually. No, that's little girls. Have you been, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just the little girls for you then. Yeah. Um, so. so, yeah. So, just, just to open up the discussion today, we're talking about um, stress. Stress. Oh, what, what, what I learned this week, which connects with our topic today, is... Um, do you know that? <laughs> I thought we were going to drop that segment yeah. because <laughs> oh, we literally really haven't learned no, anything. No, 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 go ahead, please, you know please, please. please. It is very unusual for Stephen to right? learn anything, so yeah, let's yeah. take advantage I'm, of this moment. I'm very impressed right now. The Thank silence you, is impressive. Well, yes. I learned that uh, if you take a 15-minute disco nap, it actually re-energizes you, but it has to be exactly 15 minutes during the day because mm. that's a point in your sleep where your REM is just at the right moment. So after you wake up, mm -hmm. you're super energized. But I'm if you exceed 15 minutes, then you become a little bit groggy. Well, actually, mm -hmm. actually, there are different uh, lengths of naps for uh, uh, for different um, purposes. Purposes. Thank okay. you. Um, so 15 minutes is an energizer. Uh, 30 minutes will help you remember things, wow. but it'll make you a little bit groggy. How many minutes? And 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And then okay. an hour is better for, uh, I think... Uh, uh, sh concentration or something, okay. but so again, it'll be you'll be a little drowsy. So if Stephen if forgets the name of the girl he was with last night, all he has to do is take a nap for thirty exactly. minutes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So when you or see if, I need, Fair if I need energy in bed, I'll take a fifty. <laughs> 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 Which is called foreplay in his, <laughs> in his world. <laughs> I'll be back to you in fifty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> No. Anyway, <laughs> take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be back. Yeah. No, but warm yourself up. <laughs> a anyway. very, very timely subject. It yes, is. health and wellness, especially. We all need to de-stress. Um, for me, I mean, literally getting here, guys. Uh, another, another traffic uh, problem. Well, who say who says it's never a problem here? It's always a problem here, and that always is my biggest stress factor yes. in this country. I think you traffic guys. today yeah. more. Traffic. Just something crazy happened today. I think it's just. That day that marks the start of the holiday traffic. Yeah. Yes. And it just was absolutely what frantic, nuts. even in the villages yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help that our government doesn't have a policy on yeah. uh, on cars, like how many cars people can own. So, I, so actually, yeah. I know one of us used to be a really angry driver. Stephen, you, you might want to tell us about that. Oh, uh, yeah. I have uh, I used to carry um, dead batteries, like, like, oh, like yeah. double A, triple A. Wow. So the bigger batteries are D. reserved for like <laughs> buses. Like buses. Yeah. <laughs> so as a way of de-stressing, because uh -huh. I used to have road rage, I would throw batteries at cars. But what yeah. if you're, hap you're like that, stuck okay, in traffic and the guy gets down of his car? 
Um, I throw a battery at him. <laughs> I, I, I I reserve the car battery for like ladies bigger, and gentlemen. Bigger this guys, is not, we this is not a recommended de stress. <laughs> I totally <laughs> endorse this. It's, it's not a life hack. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, it's not a life points. hack. Okay. He has in fact served his time and is very repentant. He doesn't do this anymore, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. No, but he he is conscious. He does wrap the batteries in cotton <laughs> <laughs> prior to throwing them. So you are very conscious. Yeah. No, but no, but those were during my younger years. Now nowadays, I just. I just try to de-stress and not, not uh, try to control my temper mm -hmm. and let let the small things mm -hmm. pass. Okay, what, what two reasons though? Oh, yeah. oh sorry, Mark. Uh, two reasons to to I figured it out in, in regards to that, uh, avoiding stress when driving. Get a driver. Yes. yes. Or go earlier. Yeah. God save. Reveal yes. sin. Seriously. Yes. Yeah. Reveal <laughs> sin. So, no, thank no, you there. very much. I, I so know, that's I actually know. a good. That's a good. A good uh, life hack for mm -hmm. uh, stress on the road is go during counterflow. When when the R during the R's where people are driving the opposite way, that's okay. when you leave. Yeah, that's a good yeah. life hack. Right? Nelson, you yeah. want to tell us about Go one Nelson. of your stress breakdowns and how you meltdowns. Well, meltdowns. Uh, meltdowns. Uh, yeah, meltdown moments. Uh, I think is uh, you know you're having a bit of a meltdown when you bring it out in public because yeah. I mean oh. most people most people you know you're like okay just keep it in wait until you get home you, yeah. you know you're in the privacy of your home or somewhere you can have a bit of a scream or something but yeah. if you let out an almighty yell and a scream and the claw comes out and you're like ah! in public wow. or just around other people that's, then yeah, that's you sexy. know you're having I got turned on a little yeah, turned on there. There. Yeah. you know what Man the, thing is, the thing is Mark <laughs> always has stress moments on the show but I don't think he notices it it's actually between me and Roby oh, really? we talk about it and we call it Tito moments <laughs> Because like Mark does this on the show, Keep but the unconsciously, like I'll do something really like stupid, stupid. Like I, I'll cut you off, and he'd be like, "Steven, you should not cut him off. You always do this. You always do this." And I'm like, "That is so Tito." It yes, comes with age. It's, it's, it's a fatherly it's instinct. It yeah. does. Yeah. 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 But you look at Mark; you don't see it because like, you know he's well. You know he's well done. He's well done. <laughs> <laughs> His doctor is very good. So uh, nicely roasted. <laughs> you know, Doctor Rodrigo. Him, but you know, he, he. Everybody has stress moments, and we express it in so many ways. Mm. How how do you define stress though first before you know we move on because like some people don't understand what it is. For me personally, it's it's when you can't think straight anymore. It's when something can mm -hmm. over consumes you that that's mm -hmm. all you think about, and then you just can't process anymore. Whether it be you almost get into a fight with a guy yeah. at mm -hmm. a club, and and all of a sudden it's broken up, and you have all this pent up anger in you, and it starts mm -hmm. stressing you out. Or you've had an absolute long day at work, and everyone does not seem to understand you or get what you're trying to do. Or mm -hmm. I think it's just when it, yeah. it that's the only thing you start thinking of, and you can't process anything else. Then that's when you're overly stressed. Mm -hmm. right. In line with that, I think what the common mis misconception about stress is that it's not a physical thing. Sometimes people think, oh, stress, you're tired. It's not. It's actually a mental thing. Mm -hmm. It's when your mind is speeding from one thing to another. Mm -hmm. and you haven't even done both mm -hmm. but since your mind is speeding you're stressing out but you know what I, I, uh, I'm going to disagree with you on one point okay. I think that uh, Wilson, being tired Wilson's giving you the mm, the uh, bacon uh, nod yeah I know the, 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 no no, no, no I am <laughs> I'm listening Larry oh yeah. Mark sorry I'm, I'm totally into this but um, no, I think being tired can exacerbate any sort of stress that you might have I mean if you're You've mm -hmm. only gotten a few hours sleep, or you know maybe you're you're hungover or yeah. something, uh, and then you get into a slightly stressful situation. It be can become a much bigger stressful situation. Okay, so let's say tip number one is yeah. sleep. Sleep, absolutely. Yeah, get yeah. rest, and yeah. but well, that also plays into just making sure that your schedule is well arranged. Mm -hmm. Sleep needs to be scheduled, and then workouts need to be scheduled. What work needs mm -hmm. to be scheduled? Yeah, I'd like to concur. Uh, I'm going to concur with what you said and add on to that time management. Time management. If we all can just lay out our our day, uh, things to do, uh, you know, a little checklist. I that love would listening to Revilson talk about time management. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is hilarious. I know all these things. I know what to do and how I not just to. Don't yeah. execute. But That's I think all. Uh, when, when talk about time, especially here, like I feel a lot of people sometimes, and I know if this happens to you guys, but sometimes mm -hmm. I schedule a meeting a week before, mm -hmm. and then the day itself, I'm like, why did I take this meeting? Like. Mm, it's yeah. not going to reap anything for me. Mm. You know, it's it's one of those useless, like, hours spent, like, you know, you know what I mean? So I mean and making sure that everything you do has a specific purpose. Well, don't schedule mm -hmm. anything in the morning that, that's 
too physically stressful. I think that's that's one good tip. Like try to put it or like, like getting out of bed. I don't know. I think <laughs> <laughs> I think I think everything anything physical should be done in the morning. Oh, in the morning. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. I good. Mean, sorry. Sorry. Well, yeah. Erwan and I we work out in the yeah, morning. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got it wrong. I'm you should fine. do it in the morning because in the afternoon you're tired already, right? That's why we're thin. You're fat. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, another tip I learned from my mom to de-stress is my mom always used to tell me, you know what, you should keep your room, your bedroom, especially in your bed and your office table, mm-hmm. really. Uh, neat and orderly. I know I'm not doing most of it, but <laughs> the reason even why is anything. because he goes, if you go home at night and you're stressed out the whole day, you want your, your sleeping space to be stress-free so at least mm, you get a yes, good night's sleep. Yes, yes. And when you go to the office, you, if you want to concentrate, if your table's cluttered, then your mind's cluttered that's, as well. So that's very feng shui really It's actually something I do every, every three days. I dedicate 20 minutes to just sitting down in my apartment mm-hmm. and looking at anything that does not belong there, like clutter, and then wow. I just throw things away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like throw Shit. things away I don't I need. I should learn that. I, I, need, I need to do that. Do you need clutter your life. Yeah. You, it's the that best is what, thing ever. Yeah. ever. Agreed. Agreed. Declutter. Yes. Mark, I, I go to your place. Yeah. You have all these wonderful knickknacks, um, mementos and stuff, yep. but I think... Um, Declutter your life. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah. I mean, don't be too sentimental with some things. Get as get well. rid with the, get rid of the hanging moose head. You sell pictures. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 hanging moose head. All the hanging moose heads. Keep that. It's on the wall. Other tips, guys. I think sex. Uh, uh, are you what are you offering? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, I, from actually, you no, know, but you know, it depends mm. on who you are. Because I went when I was single. Like, depends on who you're with. Yeah, what? no, when I was single, like mm. I'd always, i always think, it's just um, that you no, know, going to hit on girls and everything would make my life better. But it actually stressed me out. No, no, okay, no, hitting just, on a girl is one thing, but <laughs> being with a girl girl like, and you're having sex with her is, I think, distressing. Agree? It Disagree. is, but the build up to getting a girl. Women, please do not right? feel objectified in any way. This no, is. Oh, oh, of course not. This is Mark Nelson's voice, by the way. Just, it's just always moving Mark forward. Nelson. This is really going to say Nelson. something yeah. really bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can agree. I, I, I saw where uh, Irwan was going. If you have a girlfriend or a wife, um, someone, a steady lover, you know where you're going to get it that yeah. evening or, yeah. or whatever. Wow. So. Um, <laughs> Gee, yeah, I hope yeah. so. Because that's, <laughs> that's yeah, the no. only purpose <laughs> yeah. of a steady relationship. Yeah. Well, I'm <laughs> married, but I wonder where I'm going to get it tonight. <laughs> no, because so relationship <laughs> reversal really means you're getting some every night. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I certainly hair. hope so. Define on the dictionary. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Yeah, you just put uh, okay. you just put the <laughs> stress funny. ball and sex you're, with a woman in the same sentence. Yeah. So okay, yeah. No, there. So human stress ball. Yeah, okay. I completely lost my train of thought, but. I was going to support having a relationship, but screw you guys, forget it now. <laughs> Be single, go for girls. <laughs> Okay, ladies well, and gentlemen, and on that note, okay. um, we'll be back with a lot more uh, stress relieving uh, information <laughs> yeah. uh, coming right up. We'll be back with a. <laughs> back in yeah. a break. I'm so stressed this episode. <laughs> Experience the best beers in the world on tap in Chef Cardo Miguel's gastronomic feasts. Draft Gastropub with branches at the Fort Strip, Rockwell Mall, Greenbelt 2, and soon to open Will Tower, Quezon City, and Mulito Alabang. Welcome back to The, the case. case! So once again, we're listening and we're talking about a topic that's very dear to all of our hearts and we all go through it every day. So we're talking about stress, stress management, and how you can make your life better. So today we have a guest that is particularly fit for this um, episode. She's an international model. That's right. She's also a certified yoga instructor. She's a host and an executive producer to Runway Asia TV. Fantastic program. And ladies and gentlemen, please, a big... Round of applause for Miss Teresa Herrera. Woo! Thank Woo! you. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks Welcome for having me. Oh, thank you very much for having us. Uh, you may regret saying that after you exactly. the, the show. Uh, thank you for taking the sacrifice with us. Okay. Um, we're going to ask you a couple of questions just to get you into the mood. Okay. Um, first question, whatever comes up on top of your head. If you were reincarnated as an animal, which one would it be and why? Um, a bunny. Oh. Yeah. Like a Playboy bunny or like uh, a bunny? both? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, why, why a bunny? <laughs> oh. No, uh, why a bunny? It's the first thing that came into my mind okay. because it's um, white and fluffy and they like full yeah, energy. Like, and yeah, yeah, full yeah. of energy yeah. and you know other things. Okay, but, um, <laughs> are you year of the rabbit? <laughs> no, I'm actually year of the dragon. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, oh. Um, um, if okay. Satan had a last name, what would it be? <laughs> wow. Uh, no one thinks of that. Though, yeah. they? <laughs> Good question. Oh my god. Goodbye to all our Catholic viewers. Any. 
and call him Rodriguez or <laughs> Demetrius is the first thing that, that comes works. to mind. Okay. 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 I wouldn't think Demetrius. Sanchez. It sounds so <laughs> evil. If, yeah, if um, you embody the country, which one would it be and why? Spain. Okay. I love the food. I love the food in Spain. I love the people. I love the culture. Um, I love how festive they are. Yeah. And Very of nice. course, the and language. They, yeah. And they cook a mean rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And those are Mark Nelson's jokes. You can find him on his new book called uh, <laughs> all I'm Not That Funny. Then, <laughs> <laughs> all four <Bingo>. pages. <laughs> he will sign all four pages. Aww. It's a pocket yeah, planner. Right. I'm used to it. Nelson, you're <laughs> We love you, Mark. We love uh, you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Uh, well, we're talking about stress today. Uh, so I'm, I've got a stressful question for you. Um, your current relationship not, notwithstanding, uh, what is more stressful, work or relationships? Work, uh, for work. sure. I think so. Yeah, why? Okay. Um, I don't know. I think relationship, you feel like there's a payoff. Like sometimes, you know, most of the time it's good. Yes. Um, when work is stressful, most of the time it's really bad, (laughs) you know? It's usually because we didn't, you know, um, anticipate problems or obstacles. And usually that's when the stress comes in because now you have to make up for it. Definitely. Okay. Most embarrassing uh, meltdown moment. For a guy or a girl? For you. That happened to you. That happened to me. Wow. Yeah, mo- we, we want details. God, I can't think of anything. Um, oh, we'll give you one by the end of the show. Don't oh, worry. will you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the show. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, can I give an example of one I saw? Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. It was an ex-girlfriend okay. mm-hmm. uh, of my partner. Um, yeah, oh, wow. that was. Oh, I thought good. that was pretty bad. Yeah. What yeah, did she do? you know when <laughs> growing up, she's kind of thinking about it. She's like, "Should I give details?" Don't yeah. worry, no one watches. The no, show. no, no, no. Sa- <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Well, 26 yeah, now. Exactly. Yeah, there. <laughs> no, um, you know, growing up as a girl, you know, uh, your mom or some of the older sisters you have, they tell you like, "Oh, you know, you don't want to be that girl." Yeah. You know, the one who goes psycho after they broke up, break up with mm. their you know, boyfriend or whatever. And I just experienced one of those moments and in my head while it was happening and I was like, oh my God, it's that girl. I finally met that girl, you know? So I think that's stressful for a girl. Um, Even for you. Yeah. yeah, Seeing that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I I actually felt really bad. Did she like destroy the guy's car or? No, No. but it was full on confrontation and I was just... In in public? In public. And I just... Oof. Yeah, it wasn't. It situations. wasn't yeah, good. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, those suck. So All right. Um, in regards to your show, so Mark Nelson's banned from ISM. By the yeah. Way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you're banned yeah, from yeah. <laughs> uh, In regards to your show, um, I would like to hear a juicy anecdote that happened backstage. Backstage. Yeah. Um, mm. Lots. With the models. Lots. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Okay, go. Come on. An excerpt Bill. from her book, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Go go go. Um, well. Juicy, huh? Juicy, hmm. Mm. I don't know about juicy, but I think exciting. Okay, like, go. Got to meet Alex Wang. I got to meet Tommy Hilfiger. Cool. Like I said, um, juicy. Donna Karen. <laughs> juicy, I Juicy, know. baby. Any, any model meltdowns? <laughs> no model yeah. meltdowns. Things happen so fast backstage of Fashion Week. I wish I could tell you more juicy bits, but it all happened so fast. Mm. Literally 15-minute okay. show, run to the next show, and you know, okay. you're juggling a lot of hats. So. Okay. I wish I had more juicy moments. Like well, I love that you and <laughs> you're asking Alex for juicy Wang bits, now. So are, are t- you We're call not. Alex now? No. <laughs> like, wow, okay. No, Alexander Wang. I'm act- I was actually, I'm a fan. So when right. I met him, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> That's cool. Now it's right just Lex. Yeah. Okay. Right on. w- one good uh, de-stressing, um, I think, practice is yoga. And mm-hmm. uh, T- Teresa is um, an expert in yoga because she's an instructor. Can you, can you give us like some tips on how? Because because g- guys normally when they think of yoga they're like oh that's for girls that's you know that's for gay guys or whatever. How, well, how is yoga you used good to do for yoga, guys? Didn't you? I, I, I used to do yoga. I still do. I know because a lot of guys look at it like it's such a soft thing yeah. to mm. do, you know. Um, but it's actually one of the strongest thing a guy could do mm-hmm. um, because it's really challenging in a lot of levels, mentally, emotionally, okay. physically. Um, I remember one time when I was teaching the Philippine uh, basketball team, Talking Text. So uh, we did a session, and I think, I remember the first session, they're looking at me. This was like in 2008. Oh, wow. So I was like, they looked at me like, who is this short girl going to try to teach us how to do yoga? But after like the third... I don't third think that's what they were thinking when they were looking oh, at you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but they're oh. really checking you out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like after the third asana, they were like, wow, this is harder than 
you know, than what we thought. So, um, you know, it's challenging in a lot of aspects, but it's also rewarding in a lot of aspects. Mm -hmm. I think yoga really brings you to your core, who mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. It grounds you. Um, it helps center you mm -hmm. when you breathe mm -hmm. and just, you know, so meditate. many benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you meditate. Yeah. I mean, there's so many simple steps to meditating, you mm -hmm. know. For example, um, people always think you have to be in a cave in the Himalayas to, mm -hmm. to do meditation. But yeah. I always mm -hmm. think, look, we got to keep it real. Mm -hmm. We're in an urban setting. We're in the city. What can we do really? You know, if you have five minutes, cool. Make it happen. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, sit down, turn everything off, cell phones, and just focus on your breathing. Yeah. That's it. Breathe in, breathe out. Mm -hmm. Five counts in, five counts out. Mm -hmm. Do that for five minutes. Or you can even start with two minutes. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, do three minutes, yeah. four minutes. Um, I think with meditation and yoga, it's like practice is a tool for observation. You're not competing. Okay, you know? yeah. It's one of those things. It's not competitive. Mm. It's not competitive. And I think that's when the stress comes in is when right. we make it competitive. Yeah. Right, you know? yeah. right, right. Well, I've, I've, am I I've, breathing I've, better than the guy next I've, to me? I've, there, <laughs> I, I've, I've tried actually different styles of yoga. I've tried Bikram, which is extremely challenging. I find physically, on a physical level, um, more on because of the poses. And I guess I'm not that flexible. Um, I've tried another type of yoga, which was more on hip dancing, which I didn't adhere to too well. <laughs> but then I also did a session of yoga with um, with Teresa in Tides, Tides Hotel, in yeah. Boracay. Um, and it was called Trance Dance Yoga. Yoga Correct? Trance yeah. Dance. Was he and there? I was he there. was there. I was there. Yeah. We, he was our only student. I was playing the percussion. Was, was that, that a weekend. detoxing oh, yoga? Yeah. <laughs> was that, that detoxing? Was weekend. Okay. Yeah. 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 It was a stressful weekend for yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a stressful weekend for me. And what I remember is like her presenting Trance Dance Yoga and me thinking, I'm about to make the biggest fool of myself my whole life and mm -hmm. it, we were all surrounded by friends and everything and one thing I realized I felt like an idiot for the first five minutes like being completely honest and then because of that and because you realize that everyone else around you is doing yeah. it yeah. it just brings you to another like Relax level, level. Relaxed level and yeah. you're just so re relaxed because you don't give a shit yeah. what exactly. anyone else exactly. is and then you just own it and yeah. then you start getting into it like yeah. it's rhythmic it's, yeah. it's exactly. it was, that was a really fun session yeah. thank um, you from a male perspective I yeah. think or mm -hmm. one I guess you have to just Get over that fact that I'm a dude. I'm doing it. I'm bending yeah. over. I'm I'm wearing what have you. Just get over that fact and that mm -hmm. aspect, and just just own it and go with it. And I think I think you'll then become fully immersed um, in, into yoga. It's and it's more true. that like right. embarrassment is such a like it's such stigma an, a stigma that's instilled in you each and every day that you always Absolutely. think you know especially being Asians yeah. how yeah. do I save face how do I keep yeah. my pride yeah. up yeah. and everything mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. you realize once you let that go and just yeah. be. Yeah, like everything is just so more like can, relaxed yeah. and, and calm and mm -hmm. exactly. And can I just can I just men, but also yoga. women? It's like you know we all have it that ego. Yeah, you know, yeah. and we hang on to that ego. Mm -hmm. That's when things become really complicated. There you even go. in yoga, you can't mm -hmm. even do your arm balances. You can't do any of that because you're hanging on to this idea of this is going to be perfect if I did it like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be that way. That's when stress comes yeah. in. Can, right? can I just add that I think yoga is the nearest thing to having a, a retreat. Like back in high school or college, you used to go yeah. on those retreats. Yeah, like I, I recommend it because after a stressful day and then I do yoga after. You know, of course, it, it it doesn't it doesn't hurt that you have a lot of you know hot sweaty women around you, right? But like <laughs> after you do that like meditation, you're lying down and then they're clearing your mind. Mm -hmm. It feels really good. Like, I think you know, after one, a long one, day. one good takeaway, especially since it's a guy show, mm -hmm. the thing about letting go and, and and being whatever. Like when you go to a club, girls aren't impressed by the guy snapping his fingers and yeah. having three or four bottles around him. Mm -hmm. Girls are impressed by the guy that's just letting go. Mm -hmm. You can tell he's having a good time with his buddies. He's yeah. trans-dancing. Yeah. He's yeah, making yeah, yeah. a fool out of himself. Yeah. Those, that's that's the one the girls want to talk Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Yeah. Being it's unique and, and it's just authentic. yourself yeah. and authentic. It's authentic. Yeah. authentic. Yeah. authentic to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very right. good. Mm. Other, other stress-busting tips from uh, from the group? Alcohol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alcohol. Yes. In, in the correct in, amounts. Be independently wealthy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, there you go. No, no, yeah. But alcohol, I think, is, is a good way to de-stress uh, if you pick the right kind of alcohol. True. Yes. Uh, Absolutely. If you, if you drink something that's too heavy, um, normally it causes you more stress because of the hangover. But with like a refreshing thing like gin... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ongava, <laughs> <laughs> not a is, shameless no, you know, plug. You know, you know, actually, no, because because uh, what I what I do realize a lot of people when they go out now because wellness is such a big thing. Mm. Um, I don't think they're scared about it like being bad for your health or anything, which is you know alcohol has always been present yeah. since yes. forever, so it's not uh -huh. it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. But it's more on a on a health aspect, like oh, I'm gonna 
you know, I need to run three hours tomorrow to, to get rid of yeah. that and everything. So one tip, and I'm not just saying this to get drunk faster or anything. One tip is actually to drink just straight drinks um, just on yeah. ice. Yep. Drink drink no some, some guava on ice or, or other types of spirits on ice, and it's perfect. But, but why is that? I mean, like, why, why is drinking actually a, a good stress booster? Because I, I, I always hear this. Like, I'm so stressed. Let's go out and have a drink. Why, why, why drinking? You guys have any idea why? It's I think it just releases a lot of tension because um, uh, it uh, you can be a little bit more of who you want to be without uh, you know trying okay. to pretend. Uh, okay, I've got to like you know uh, maybe uh, keep a, a certain face up or anything. It it uh, gets rid of that and certain. For me, it's more of a ritual, like the if, ritual of drinking. I'm yeah, if, no, With no, friends? I know that alcoholics, yeah. but no, <laughs> but um, like if I'm sitting down at night at 6 p.m. and I have a glass of red wine, I know in my head is. My day's complete. Mm-hmm. I did everything I had to do. Now I can have a, a sip of red wine and I'm good. Yeah. You know? yeah. Plop your feet up on the, on the uh, yeah. coffee table. People you know, with their beers. And that's yeah. why Sleeps. happy hours yeah. started because it mm-hmm. was just a yeah. regular thing every day yeah. to just end yeah. your day. Yeah. 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 And the brotherhood ritual also, the aspect yeah. of it or with your girls, talk about how shitty your day was with your home girls mm-hmm. or with your, with your homeboys. <laughs> that, that aspect as well adds to the, you know, the de-stressing factor. Yeah. Right. And, and, so. by, and with talking about it, I mean, you know, you have a couple of drinks and all of a sudden you you know, you, maybe you're saying a little bit more than you would normally because you're usually so reserved, and mm-hmm. you get you get that you out, get it out, and you yeah. need yeah. to get it out because yeah. keeping too much of it in is yeah. going to build up those stress levels. Okay. Quickly, point. one more tip on how you can live a stress-free life, or yeah, like something that you do that helps you just some personal get mantras. To your day. Mantras, you know, uh, mantras. Um, just breathing, really breathing. Anytime it gets too stressful, mm-hmm. I literally, if I'm sitting down on a chair, I just fold over you know, hair over and mm-hmm. just like breathe deep. Um, mm-hmm. And then that kind of resets and then I come back up slowly. That's a real simple, simple way to mm-hmm. reset. So it's mm-hmm. one of those things everyone does but never does it properly. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Or maybe we don't think brain. about yeah. it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because oxygen there's something the about even when you're standing, when you're folding over, there's something about it that, you know, resets our nervous system. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll actually try that tonight. Yeah. yeah I'll, take a, I'll take a selfie while we're <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> yoga at its core, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, is all about breathing. I mean, the, breathing, the, yes, right? more than anything, I okay. think. So, okay, I, I, breathing I can do. Is a stretching part <sighs> not so great? Mine would be it's practice. Um, to, to simplify finances, basically, mm-hmm. automa- you know, putting them at an automatic payment per month, so link them to your bank accounts, or have one day yeah. of the month where you deal anything financial. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me, that helps me just. So you're not online banking yeah. people. There I've been go. telling you yeah. about it. <laughs> it's the shizzle. Online hey. banking. PPI. What the, up? The internet though stresses me out when it's like mm. offline. So well, okay. Yeah, okay. That is true. Well, you know what? I, th- I think another de-stressor is uh, don't uh, spread yourself too thin. We have a, mm. a very good friend that's mm-hmm. worked on both our houses, and he's mm-hmm. a great guy. But he has so much stress because yeah. he keeps saying yes to everyone, ah, and yeah. he spreads himself. Too thin. So learn to say too no. much work. Yeah. Learn, learn to, to say, say no. Yeah. Okay. Learn to say no mm-hmm. and just prioritize what's important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think a good way to de-stress also is to list down things you're gonna do for the day with check yeah. boxes. Yeah. Then, because then your mind is focused on each check box rather than your mind's focused on so many things going around your head, and you become, uh, what's that? You you, um, you have paralysis. What do you call mm-hmm. that? Uh, mental paralysis or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Coma. I, I'd like to. I'd like to add one. Um, I absolutely love this one. Have plants in your house, plants or flowers mm. inside your house. I, I like mean, that. For me, I, I even have true, plants yeah. in every in my bathrooms. Um, just, just number one, it's, it's, for, it's, it's for the it's, eyes or for the, the oxygen. Well, uh, obviously the uh, the oxygen that it regenerates, but also just from an aesthetic purpose. I mean, you look at it; it's 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 a living, breathing thing. Organic, it's, mm-hmm. it's organic. I mean, yeah. So have plants in your house. Okay, or pets. Yeah. Pets would be good, too. Oh, pets are good. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to come right back with our top 10 and um, have more tips on how to de-stress or, um, in some cases, stress some more. I don't know what that meant. (laughs) Anyway, we'll be You're stressing yourself out, bro. (laughs) You're stressing us out, bro. Yeah, you're stressing us out. (laughs) We'll be back after this break. Thank you very much. All 
All right. Well, here we are uh, with our little mixology episode. Erwan, what are you going to be uh, making for us today? Um, since it's Christmas, it's the holidays, I thought we'd make a drink that's a little festive. I'm sure you've been to Brazil. You've had cachaça. You've had yeah. lemon. You've had caipirinhas, obviously. Yes. Um, so I thought we could do it with ungava gin because it's a nice different take to it. It's nice and herbal. We'll still put um, some lemons, some, a little bit of peach schnapps inside, and then some simple syrup so it's a nice and festive drink that you can share with the family. It's very easy to make and has a bells and whistles to make everyone go, oh, cool. Now, now actually, speaking of, uh, of you know, sharing and caring and doing the right thing, um, please note, ladies and gentlemen, this is a fair trade product, which means uh, that all of the ingredients were uh, bought directly from, uh, from the Inuits of uh, Canada, where this is from. Correct. So you're actually giving back when you drink this alcohol. Exactly. So very simple enough, you're going to take a shaker. First, what we want to do is create some sort of foam. These foams are kind of like, you know, cool and people really like to see eggs, especially Christmas. When you use eggs, that is a terrible break. Um, use organic eggs, by the way, not eggs bought in the street next door. Um, so there's one egg white that goes in there. An egg white. This is going to be a great foam party. It will be a fantastic foam party. So an egg white is usually 22 ml. Uh, so to that, we're going to add 15 ml of simple syrup just to get some sweetness inside. You're going to put 30 ml of peach schnapps, Archer's Works, or any other brand or alcohol that you might have. So 30 ml. In there. Now Does it have to be peach schnapps? Um, yeah, or you can use any other type of fruit that you want to put inside. To get it foaming, you need to dry shake it first. Um, and then, of course, then our main ingredient, we're going to do a 45 shot, which is a standard shot in most bars. Okay, and do you want to explain what a dry shake is? A dry shake is to help emulsify the egg white. If you do it with ice, your egg white's kind of just going to sink because of the water content. But if you do it with no ice, then <laughs> and welcome to the phone party, ladies and gentlemen. And she That's your popper. <laughs> and she squirts. Okay. So you'll hear it less and less. Yep. Is that it foaming up? You don't hear it anymore, then you basically have a foam. Yeah. All right. And there's a pop. Little white stuff on top of me. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure you're used to that. This is the uh, Caipirinha inspired part. You put the lemons right in there, right? I've got about six sections, six quarters, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to muddle it. You don't want to break up too much. You just want some of the, the oils and juices to come out. We like oils and juices. Exactly. And once we have that, obviously, you're going to add. This is why I don't like doing drinks in other bars, it gets a little messy. Ice in the shaker. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to wipe that shit off my face. <laughs> It's gonna it's okay, no one, no one noticed. The worst thing is it's going to happen again, I'm sure. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> you like it when it hits your face, don't you? <laughs> what, if she's a real squirter? <laughs> so the best thing about this drink is that you don't have to strain it or anything. Just go straight in, unstrained. Just like a caipirinha. Mm. Yeah, you can put the lemon sections in there and everything. Ooh, that looks and good. it's nice and foamy, yeah? Wipe it off the side. You want to try it and let me know what you think? All right. Cheers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You do know they're sponsoring us, right? This is actually excellent. <laughs> this is phenomenal. Oh, my God. That's the reaction we wanted. So thank you for watching. This is a Christmas party oh. in my mouth. What of another cave bite. <laughs> so make a special cocktail in Gava. See you guys soon. See you next year. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome back to The Cave. Oh, sorry. That was me by myself. Yeah. Welcome back to The, the Cave. cave. Very I'm good. so That's sorry. Good. All right, guys. Of course, we were talking about wellness, uh, health, and all the other aspects around involving that uh, industry. Now, you know what? Uh, this survey was taken in the States. Now, this obviously might show the type of culture they have there in the good old US of A, but the number one stress factor in the States is, of course, finances, Ooh. money. What's your take on that, guys? I believe, yes, it is the number one finance, especially in that country because they're all about material objects yes. and what have you. Of course, here, finances are all about surviving. Mm. So, My take go. is, I think um, you won't stress out about money if your goal is not to amass money, but just mm -hmm. to uh, use it as a way to, you know, to score your life. Like, you know, the, the amount of money you make is just a score. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the end goal, which is, you know, to have X millions in your, mm -hmm. in your bank account. Mm -hmm. And your main goal is really to enjoy what you're doing in mm -hmm. your particular work or your passion. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. that's okay. my take. Yeah, no. Teresa? 
I think, um, yeah, you're right. In the States, it's about consumerism. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of the stress comes in when people overextend themselves and they buy what they can't afford because yeah. they have a credit card, mm -hmm. yes. which is yes. what the problem is. I mean, I think, you know, to beat the stress of that, it's just go back the old-fashioned way, like what yeah. your mom taught you. you yeah. If you have the money, then you buy it. If you, yeah. don't, if you don't have don't, the money, then don't exactly. buy it, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah. Bar I think it's Barter system. <laughs> Barter system. <laughs> Well, the, 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 with the Joneses. That. Yeah. The U.S. is very it's much true. a culture yeah. of debt. They encourage debt. Mm -hmm. They want you to take out a credit mm -hmm. card. Mm -hmm. You can't get a credit rating without having uh, a, a credit card and some sort of debt, mm -hmm. which is so weird. Whereas uh, here, for instance, in, in Asia, in, in the Philippines mm -hmm. in particular, they want you to be out of debt. I mean, yeah, sure, you can take out, take out a loan, but you need to have the collateral yeah. Yeah. to back yeah. it up. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, in, in a lot of respects, I think that's why uh, a lot of people get stressed out over there. The and States, they're trying yeah, to keep yeah. up with the Joneses. Oh, exactly. my neighbor's got, you know, he the just bought a new car. Mercedes. I need yeah. to get a new Mercedes. Yeah, yeah right. because I've, when you're doing that, then it's not just about paying for your rent or your mortgage. It's about survival and paying for things you can't afford. Yeah. So it's Correct. like a double whammy, yeah. right? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Or just be Irwan Husoff and get free Mercedes Benzes anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Jeez. <laughs> All right. So, that's, so the takeaway there is live simply uh, or be or one. Be yeah. happy with your work or be or one. Yeah. Not my fault. My body's worth a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> to science. <laughs> Fiction. Right. So Sorry. today we actually have, uh, because since, since, since we've, we've, this is the first time we actually have someone that's certified in yoga, a yoga instructor mm -hmm. within, with us. We know a lot of guys. I know a lot of people personally here in the Philippines, especially when they take up yoga. There's this myth of, um, I'm gonna see the hottest girls, and, which you and, are. Yeah, no, and and and, yeah. and valid in some studios, not so valid in other yeah. studios. <laughs> um, and depending on the classes you take, and so which time of the studios? Of the day, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I I'm, think I'm, I'm gonna hot. marry a, a yoga. I'm a hermit. I'm least. a very diffident hermit. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I stay at right, home. Yeah. Um, so, what? Why don't you walk us through some of the poses? That's what you guys wanted to know. Yeah, right? some yeah. of the what? poses that there are, um, and okay. why. Teresa is gonna do the pose. No, <laughs> no, we are gonna do. The I pose. Yeah. You're gonna Actually, do the pose. Steven's gonna oh. come out. Steven's gonna, gonna come out and do the pose. Do Steven, because you yeah. just volunteered yes. yourself. Yeah, yeah. because you're, you're, you're a yoga only, guy. I only know the downward dog style. You yeah, want, <laughs> you want the douche bar, the douche jar <laughs> of the day. So, yeah, put your mic down, get in front, no. and we'll show us. Get in the front. You go. We'll do. We'll do easy. We'll do easy ones. Show us your downward doggy style. This is the cave podcast, and we are out there to help our fellow man. When is the best time? For the hottest girls, what classes? Like Day, Juan noon, said, it afternoon. depends on the teacher. It uh -huh. depends on you know the work schedule. Okay. Um, a lot more people go in the evening classes just okay. because it's after work. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Weekends are great. Saturday, okay. Sunday mornings are great. Totally um, safe answer. We hate you, Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she means Sorry. after work, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. I think. Yeah. That's there you a, go. That's okay. a, that's there a you go. sweet spot. Well All right. Yeah. Go. Cool. Do you yeah. need a Do you need an address for Wilson? No, no, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I do. Okay, okay. I do. He's gonna scour all of them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine. I have the yeah. internet. I need an address. Keep the mic. Okay. So what do you want me to do? I, I don't know any positions. Yes, you're gonna learn positions. Yes. Give, give me your mic. Outside the bedroom. Call your mic. No, but he needs to narrate. This over. Okay, so we're making space. Okay, so we're just gonna do something simple. Um, stressing. Okay. Oh, for de-stressing. What's a great pose to de-stress? You can use. Okay. Use him uh, as your puppet. Yes. Okay. Feet hip distance apart, de-stress. Knees slightly bent, okay? I don't like being close to him when his legs are open. No, now bend over. <laughs> it's okay, Steven. That's just, usually what he says to the girls. You. you won't see shit, yeah, don't yeah. worry, bend over. Yeah, you just bend over. Release the head, release the neck, there you go. The Keep your knees bent. The spine is rounded, is yeah. that bad? No, is it's fine. Round? Okay, got it. Yeah, because it's not about having it perfect. It's just okay. about, you know, just... Just releasing. Okay. Maybe releasing. a side view. Maybe she get a side view. Just yeah. hang out there, side bro. View. Hang uh, out there. No, bro, no, I don't want to get the crack. Please. Okay. <laughs> Other side. And then <laughs> just relax as you breathe in and then exhale. Oh, down. The first time. <laughs> there you go. Okay. It's all about and breathing. And then, yeah, I mean, okay. just a slow start. Wow. And then Does that work? Up slowly. Uh, slowly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the head rush was part of it. Anyway, no, I mean that was good. That's simple. That's oh, a, you I, know. I, okay. I felt the oxygen go to my head, so I think. You that's know the scary thing here is he's now going to use that on girls. Okay, hey, now, you know now, what? Okay, I've got now. this great de-stresser yeah. now. That's bend my top ten. That's now. my top bend ten. Over. Now that's he knows one of the de-stressing poses, so we move on to our top ten. Top ten ways to hit on girls at yoga. Top ten ways to hit on girls at in yoga. yoga. Exactly. All right. All right. Have you personally ever hit on a girl in yoga? I haven't. 
No, I've never. I haven't done yoga enough to be able to hit on anyone. Yeah. Okay. Never. All right, I had so a yoga teacher hit on me in yoga. Oh, what was really? the line? With Go. my boyfriend right next to me. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. What did he say? What did he do? Um, you know when you're going into that triangle pose nope. and then... Oh, but you don't yes. know? So <laughs> like you're like this in the triangle, <laughs> okay. arm up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And then he's trying to align you. Uh, okay. So he's standing right, right behind you and like trying to align you. Uh-huh. And then he'll just like move your hips and touch you like weirdly he's like okay inhale and then exhale and then he'll push himself on me and i'm like okay and then he'll like it's just weird (laughs) it's just so weird i'm I'm like okay i'm done that's that's happened to me really no no one took advantage yeah you were the the instructor (laughs) (laughs) unless he was a gay guy yeah (laughs) okay okay I thought it was like yeah. a girl took advantage of me. Like, no, you're not that hot. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have you seen him in spandex? Right, that's, yeah. that's number 10, number 9. What? Number 10. The, number if 10. you're an instructor? Number 10 ways to hit on somebody. So number way. one, showing them how to do a pose properly. Yeah, yeah but okay. yeah, properly touching them and do not do it with their boyfriend or significant other next to them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, number 9. Oh, why? why <laughs> uh, um, um, I know 700 ways on how to bend over. <laughs> I just made that up. I just made that up. I just made that up. Uh, I don't know. The funny uh, thing is, he's telling the truth. <laughs> number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Um, I, I, I know the yoga instructor. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you free class. I, I, get, yeah. you, I get you free class. <laughs> yeah. I flew him in from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> I know the distributor of spandex. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mine would be... No. Was that it? Was uh, it? Oh, no, God. <laughs> You have good posture. I'd love to see you flow sometimes. Oh! oh. <laughs> see you flow? <laughs> there's, a, there's a class called flow yoga. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. okay, somebody did their research. Yeah. Um, right. Here's another okay. one. Guy goes, hold on, come here, come here. Wow, your aura is amazing. <laughs> oh. You're like, you're glowing. Oh. And this is coming from experience. We have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we should have chai sometime. We <laughs> <laughs> should have chai tea. Yeah. Chai. Oh chai. Holy he straight shit. up said chai. <laughs> oh yes. Do you like curry? That's a, <laughs> oh my god, I love curry. That's a chai and lentils today. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's great vegan place down the road. <laughs> Steven, come on, come up with something. Uh, okay, in a big crumb class. I'm gonna help you. Okay, big crumb class. Big crumb class. Is the room really hot, or is it just you? <laughs> puede, oh. puede. <laughs> Coming from you, puede. Yeah. puede, puede. There are poses puede. called right. cobra. Downward dog, okay. Warrior, um, what are the sun worship, sexual tree. sounding oh, okay. ones. Yeah, mm. go do something with cobra. With cobra? Yeah. No, but I'll do something with another animal. Hi, <laughs> I put the ram in beak ram. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Rambo. <laughs> that was not bad. That was not bad. Oh, my God. I think you won this one. Yeah, yeah, right. I want you, you to execute this line properly. Because I know what you're going to say now. Go. Oh, go. you do? Yeah, I saw the notes. Oh, no. I don't even have it on there anymore. Yeah. Um, I'd be like, so... Why do you keep hitting on me? <laughs> <laughs> the hottest one here. Yeah, right? exactly. You're the girliest. Right. Apparently, you're great in spandex. Right. Okay, good. Yeah, go. Go. You know what? I've been really wanting to get into this yoga thing a bit more, but I need some peace and solitude. It just so happens I have a beach resort. It'd be perfect for that, but I need someone to teach me. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Very mm. That's very Mark. Mark Nelson. It's, it's, it's also one that Stephen could use. <laughs> 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 uh, I, was, I was thinking he was going to say, so can you teach me the lazy do- downward doggy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> lazy downward doggy stuff. What? Okay, no, no. I think that's that wraps horrible. it up. That that's, wraps that's it up. Yeah. <laughs> do not <laughs> hit on girls in yoga. I think Never. that's, that's yeah. basically yes. <laughs> the rule. Is don't the rule is yeah. don't hit on girls in yoga. If you want to, Actually, after, honestly, after. the best time to hit on a girl would be after yoga yeah, because not during. they finish their practice Fair and uh, up. they're so open. So he'd come you up know? to you and be oh, like, yeah. hey, do you want to sweat some more? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> there, Steven, huh? Steven, is that wow. you? <laughs> Are you impressed? Are you impressed? It's better Steven? than the rap. <laughs> 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 no. It is better than the rap. Um, so oh, afterwards. afterwards. Hold on. She was, she was on yeah, afterwards. afterwards. When, they're, okay, um. when they're open and they're just like, you know, they're kind of yoga stone. Mm-hmm. They got their yoga thing stone. on. Yoga stone. Right. That's when you invite them out for a... 
a chai. A chai. Right. right. Exactly. I like how he switched from de-stressing to how to pick up a girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is still the cave, right? This is still de-stressing. Still the cave. Still I think, I know, but I really, okay, I think this should be the next cave challenge. Okay. One of us should go to a yoga class and ask a girl out for chai after. Oh, One my of the God. single boys, obviously. That would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a fun. Mm-hmm. Wait, social uh, experiment. Social experiment. Wait, one myth though that you have to break before we end the episode is, okay. uh, Shouldn't you not? Shouldn't you actually not pick up girls in yoga because they're sweating and they don't want to? You know, it's not that part of their day where they really want to meet. Guys. No, but I think after what you're saying, yoga stone. After yoga, you feel so you're yeah, but there's so there's still the real and, and it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. But I think it's not about hitting on a girl. It's about being authentic and approaching right. them because if your real self meets their real self, you you skip the game. Right. Yeah, I think, and yeah. it's just yeah. a lot more simple. Yeah, you yeah. know. And on that note, I think meeting the right girl is the perfect de-stressing thing you could yeah. ever do in your life. Mm. And, well, this is also about wellness. <laughs> Still trying. Girls, Steve, about Steven's looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> Steven's looking for you. Look at that gaze. All of you. At the same time. Be, I'm going to be in each studio. We'll put his phone number. <laughs> you are gripping He's taking that additions microphone. for the love of his life. <laughs> A little too tight, bro. <laughs> He'll go through one every week trying to find the right yeah, one, right? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, quick takeaways from everybody. Around, we'll do a quick round table. Again, this is all about health and wellness. Uh, quickly, on my end, I try to laugh as much as, as possible. Yes. I always have stand-up comedy uh, running yep. throughout my house. I, I just have it playing while I'm doing errands around the house. Um, and smile. Just smile. I mean, you, it takes less muscles <laughs> to actually smile and more muscles to frown. So if you, if you just already start smiling, you already are instilling that automatically. So. And to add on to that, uh, you're also de-stressing someone else's life if you smile mm-hmm. at them. The, the greatest thing that you can receive from anyone mm-hmm. is, is a smile. And so a hug. Well said. And a oh, hug. and a hug. Yeah, and a hug. Oh. Oh. Real hugs. Yeah. Like yeah. body to body. Like the real, like even, even man hugs are awesome. Mm-hmm. Right. Like a real... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let go of the small things. I mean, like if there you go. Yeah, if it's just a small thing, you don't want to stress about it. I like how you've got your hand in your pocket when you talk about letting go of the small <laughs> thing. <laughs> That's actually your pocket, bro. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> You're both losers in that. <laughs> Mine would be um, do something yeah. creative. Um, like whatever mm-hmm. creative is for you, whether you are a cook, uh, um, a painter, or a, a jar, or whatever, whatever you <laughs> do, release. like that you consider creative. Yeah. Do something right. creative every day. Right. Yes. For me, it's spending time mm-hmm. in nature every day. Oh, awesome. um, just something simple, even going to the park, riding your bike. If you can hike, if you have access to do that, do that. Or if you're by a beach, walk on the beach. I think that's always yeah. really re-energizing and de-stressful. Actually, well, on top of that, I, uh, something with sport. If you're someone that is into fitness, and this is something I realize, you get into yes. a routine when it comes to fitness. Right. Do a Try a different sport every week, like a new sport wow. every week. That's Agreed. so yeah. much fun. Challenge yourself. Yeah, challenge yourself, yeah. and at the same time, it makes you yeah. get out of your house, make, right. get out of your routine. Yeah. What um, physically stresses you uh, de-stresses your, bra- your mind. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what my takeaway from all of this is? Um, I think that I want to try yoga. Awesome. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to cool. keep doing it. Yeah. Definitely. I'm talking about it for ages. I think I'll actually try Finally <laughs> do it. <laughs> all right. And on that note, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us on The Cave. We have one question, though, here. Oh, we do we? Yeah. Yeah, from uh, w- at, at WT Fran. We yeah. Thank you for writing in. We have, we have two, two questions, questions actually, yeah. but we're going to go with the first one from WT <laughs> Fran. Says, what the fuck, Fran? How does Erwan manage his no shit attitude? And does Roby uh-huh. ever plan on getting hair back on his head again? Okay, for me, so quickly, <laughs> no. Erwan, go. How, no shit. Uh, what's a no shit attitude? Like, how does Erwan manage like You don't his no care shit? what people think about you. Yeah. Ah, well, because. Because I don't. That's perfect. My sister's hot. My girlfriend's the shit. I'm nothing. No, no. no, I get free Mercedes. I'm nothing to prove, and and the only person that I need to make happy is myself. Yeah, with what I'm doing. That's the French culture right there. Second question. No, not in a selfish way. God, you putting on. Okay, from at Stardust. Now he gives a shit. Nine one eight. In their busy schedule, how do they find time for their me time, and what do they usually do? Putting you to rest as well. Go ahead. My me time is actually watching the cave podcast, to be honest with you. And that Aww. de-stresses me, yeah. seriously. Yeah. And, yeah, Taping for the show and watching it is how I de-stress. Exactly. Yeah. We were talking about that earlier. And this is what we look forward to every week. It's sad, but true. I'm yeah. <laughs> I personally don't, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that is his, his, his no shit <laughs> attitude right there. Exactly. <laughs> How about you? you for me, my me time, time? Um, I would have to say uh, either taking a shower or a bath. You know, yes. when you're just like... Yes. You got yeah. warm water. Mm-hmm. You have all your uh, good water, smelling yes. aromatherapy In stuff. It's the candle. Best. Yeah, that's it. Glass of wine. Sh- yes. <laughs> I used to be a, a huge crybaby when I was a kid. Uh, my sisters <laughs> always make fun of me and always try to make Aww. me cry. I would hide in my bathroom, and since then, it's been so therapeutic. Like the crying I game. Take a shower. <laughs> I just stay the crying game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 awesome. All right. Teresa Herrera, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having anything? me, guys. Yeah, you'd thank like you. to plug? 
Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, shows. Sure. Anything sure. to look Website. forward to? Weddings. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Weddings. Oh, so just, you know, it's all on Instagram. Teresa Herrera, 27. That's it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty nice. chill. Thank you Simple. Once, yeah. Simple, yeah. you know. <laughs> Thank you once again for watching The Cave. Um, again, you can find everything on ExtraRice.tv. You can follow all our individual accounts too and all of that information is on ExtraRice.tv. So At Cave Podcast on Twitter, please spread the word. Uh, let's make our community a little bigger by adding 1% a day. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. See you guys. Bye. Thank you.